hello guys welcome back to my channel and i'm begging you in the name of god to not click out of this video until you've heard what i wanted to say please okay i've not been uploading video for the past two days now because i've been working on something that some of you guys challenged me to do i got email from two of you guys saying that you enjoyed my video you enjoyed watching my videos but you are always like confused anytime you watch my video because you don't usually get what the point is and that is because i'm dropping teasers not update because it's not that i can't drop update for you guys i have the update i know what is going to happen in every single series but I, I didn't want to spoil it for you guys. I didn't want to be like a spoiler alert. That was why I kept on dropping teasers. But you guys said you don't want teasers. You want a full update. And since I can now see that you guys want a full update, I'm ready to give you guys full update. Because I didn't create this channel because I saw others creating channels about Z word videos. And I also decided to open and create channel. No, I created this channel so that you guys can get to know what's up about Z word videos. I've been watching Z word for the past years. And I already know all, some of all these series. I've watched them before. And the ones that I've not watched before, I know what to happen in them. And I have the details, everything. But I didn't want to spoil it for you guys. That is why I always give you guys scissors. That is why sometimes if you guys dropped question that, oh, what would happen next? Oh, this and that. I'll be like, oh, I'm also looking forward to it. Oh, I don't also know, blah, blah, blah. I knew what would happen. I know everything. But I didn't just want to spoil it for you guys. But since you guys want the spoiler a lot, I'm ready to give you guys. I know it will take me more work and more time. And I'm ready to give you guys the time. Because I'm, I'm really happy with the way you guys always drop comments to encourage me, to tell me you like my videos. And some of you um, drop um, constructive criticism, which I really, really like. And so I'm ready to always give you guys full details. So I will start by this is fit and eh? so i'll be giving you guys full details so make sure you watch this video till the end thank you and please the one you're about to watch now is the continuation of where i stopped the last time i stopped where prita janky and shriti has already escaped from Pritfi and they got to the literal house and prita announced to everyone that were present at the function that she is Karan's wife and not Myra. That was where we stopped the last time. This is the continuation. And to make it easier for you guys, you always see it on the thumbnails. I'll put hashtag one, hashtag two, hashtag three, hashtag four, and so on and so forth for you guys to always understand. So you have to watch from number one, two, three, four, so that you can get to understand it better because I will always anywhere i dropped that is where i will always continue the next one when it comes to twist of fate i hope you guys understand please if you don't understand anything drop it in the comment section let me know i really love reading you guys comment and if you ever drop comments in the comment section you know i always reply to all of you guys so kindly drop anything you have to say in the comment section or you can send me email like these two people did i actually appreciate them thank you so much so let's continue after Prita has already announced to the media and to all the guests that were present at the ceremony that she is Karan's wife and not Mahira, hearing this and seeing everyone believed Prita, Mahira loses her temper and started shouting at Prita and even at the guests that were present at the function, saying that Mahira was very angry. Ramona and Sherlyn decided to take her away from the function and asked her to freshen up. Shailin advised Mahira to always try to calm down and also warned her that with such an attitude, she is digging her own grave little by little. Meanwhile, at the function, Samir asked everyone to settle down as the real reception is about to start now and he announced that Prita and Karan are now going to give a dance performance together. As Karan and Prita started dancing, Karan asked Prita about where she was and what happened. Prita told him not to worry as that wasn't important anymore as she is with him now and that she knows that he really missed her. 
Karan then refused to admit to the fact that he missed Prita and instead he says that it was Prita who missed him and that Prita couldn't live without him and that was why she came back to the Lutra house from wherever she was. Later, Karan admitted that he was very happy seeing Prita at the function and that he has always been sure about the fact that Prita could never leave him and go away. Sanjana later realized that Shirley knows about how Prithvi and Pawan kidnapped Prita and she was very angry. Sanjana asked Shailin to stop playing these games and leave Prithvi alone for good as he is of no good use to her. Sanjana also suggests that Shailin should stop helping Mayira or else Mayira will end up putting Shailin in a lot of trouble. Ramona hears Sanjana saying this and she entered and started clapping and she also felt disappointed in Sanjana. Ramona tells Sanjana that she didn't expect her to say such things about her daughter Mahira. Sanjana then tells Ramona that she witnessed how Mahira behaved at the function and even she, her mother, should be ashamed of her daughter. Sanjana also explains to Shailin that the Lutra family has decided not to tolerate Mahira's behavior anymore and if she doesn't want to be thrown out of the Lutra house with Mahira, then she should stay away from her. Mahira came out of the washroom and she was shocked on hearing Sanjana and Shailin's conversations about her being thrown out of the Lutra's house. In the night, Shailin was alone in the room and she gets very upset about things not going as she had planned. She says that she wanted to throw Prita out of the house and make Mahira marry Karan and become the daughter-in-law of the Lutra house and that was why she planned Prita's kidnapping with Prithvi. Prita overhears Shailin saying all this to herself and she asked her how she could be that wicked. Prita then wants Shailin to stop trying hard to separate her and Karan, otherwise she will not spare her. Raki went to Mahesh's room and told him that Prita is now the Lutra's daughter-in-law and so she has made up her mind to support Prita in getting the justice that she deserved. Prita and Karan argue and fight over the AC remote in the room. Prita tried to collect the remote from Karan but he refused to give it to her. In the process, they both fell onto each other and it turned out to be a romantic moment for both of them. Shailin saw Mahira all alone on the terrace and she immediately assumed that Mahira wanted to commit suicide and she drags her and told her not to take her own life because of Karan. Ramona came there and told Mahira that it is enough and she should come with her and leave the Lutra's house. Mahira immediately said that she wasn't trying to commit suicide. She said she was only feeling suffocated and that was why she came to the terrace. Mahira then said she is desperately looking for how to separate Karan and Prita because she can now see that both Karan and Prita really loved each other. So for this reason, she is not going to leave the Lutra's house until she achieved her goals. Ramona then replied Mahira saying that it was obvious from the beginning that it is not easy to break the bond between Prita and Karan so Mahira should give up and leave the Lutra's house since they always fail in all their attempt to separate Prita and Karan. Mahira was adamant and she said she won't give up and she won't leave the Lutra's house either until she has successfully separated Karan and Prita for good. Shailin asked her how she intends to do that since Rishab, Karan, Raki and everyone in the house are now supporting Prita. Mayura says she will surely do something so that everyone will stop supporting Prita. Raki shouted Mayura's name and everyone in the house comes downstairs and asked her what happened and why was she shouting Mayura's name. Raki then told daddy which is the Lutra's family grandmother that she is her daughter-in-law and Mahesh who is her husband is in coma now. She said I didn't mean Mahesh was fine then he would have done the same thing she was about to do now. She said so much is happening in her son's life and she can't stay silent anymore. Daddy asked her what decision is she about to make. Raki said her decision is that Mayra should leave the Lutra house and everyone was shocked on hearing this. 
Karan said Raki made the right decision about Mayura leaving the house, but she could have said this to Mayura alone instead of saying it in front of everyone. Rishab said it doesn't make any difference if Raki says it like this or say it to Mayura in private. Raki said she took this decision after a lot of thinking and she apologized to Ramona and says that it was because they were friends from childhood. That was why she wanted Karan to marry Mahira and she didn't know that everything would turn out this way. Raki told Mahira that she came to their house in the first place for her studies but she never saw her studying and instead she invested all her time to know about Karan and to impress him. She said Mahira did wrong by wearing the same sari that Prita wore during the function and everything she did in front of the guests that day was so wrong. Ramona said she was disappointed in Raki for breaking her promises to her. She said the family promised that her daughter would get married to Karan but now everything is changing. Raki then asked Ramona why she was silent when Mahira was doing wrong things. Ramona said Mahira did nothing wrong because she came here for studies but at the same time the Lutra family promised her that Karan would get married to her and now Mahira really loves Karan. Raki then said that now the situation has changed totally because of Mahira's behavior and there is nothing she can do about it. Mahira said she will make sure Prita regrets the day she got married to Karan. Prita said Mayura has ever gotten the chance to rectify her mistakes and start a new life in the past but unfortunately for her, she didn't value the golden chance and she ends up losing it. Prita then assures Mahira that she won't regret ever marrying Karan and continues by saying that Mahira or anybody else can never succeed in separating her from Karan. Mayura comes downstairs with her luggage and she said she doesn't want to leave from the Lutra house and pleaded with Karan to stop her saying she can't stay away from him because she loves him. Karan then told her that she is misunderstanding everything and what would be best for her is that she should accept that this is reality and leave. Karan also said she should move on with her life as he wants to see her happy as a friend. Mayura said she can't move on and she started crying. Karan said she has to move on as there is much more great things waiting for her. She just needs to notice that and she may even get better guy than him who can fulfill her dreams. Mayura hugs Karan and he tries to push her away saying everyone is looking at them but Mayura refused to leave him. Prita holds Mayura's hand and drags her and throws her out of the house and locks the door from inside. Okay guys, this is where I will stop the update for this video. And what happens after Mayura has already left the Lutra house is coming up right next. So make sure you click this playlist that is up. I will dedicate this playlist to This is Fate Season 3. So you can just click on that playlist or you can click the description box below to check for the playlist. And please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it to others and please make sure you comment in the comment section. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye guys.